Uh, okay. I have, as of this m little earlier today, been released from another police detention. Uh, a very reliable app failed to record what this is now the second take recording. <coughs> and. These police detentions I don't particularly enjoy because the main reason is conversation and uh, assumptions and what have you. I said, uh, may I turn my phone onto flight mode offline and read books in the in your your waiting cell? And they said uh, I could read a Bible. So. These officers obviously know a lot about religious discrimination. Um, yeah, I had a... I was wearing two pairs of pants, which I got padded. Um, both balls. Uh, dick and ass. And then the, the, there was an officer who said, well, you've got cords hanging downwards from this pair of pants. Uh, for the sake of self-harm interest, preventative self-harm interest, I'll have to cut these cords. But the reality of the the pants was that what he cut off, I could have still pulled out the cord and harmed myself if that were really my intention. He only just cut it where it was visible. So when I'm talking to you about... Uh, psych cross relit cross religious cross connotativity that's their idea of preventing self-harm is is uh looking for cords that remind them of the loincloth they'll be eating th this coming sunday and then cutting off the court the visible flappy bits of the cords <laughs> yeah. uh yeah I'm not saying anything to, to, in disrespect or repudiation of um, the magistrate judge I spoke to who was particularly fair, uh, commendably so, given my forgetfulness. And I would rather my conversations be with legal people who have read about Jeremy Bentham going, well, people striving a bit away from adoring the crucifixion and going, well, maybe suicide, rape murders aren't the best biscuits for people.